My name is David Bogle. I'm, it's a strange title, Pro Vice Provost for the Doctoral School. And uh, as such, I oversee all of the early career researchers at UCL. Obviously not individually. I see that in a, what's the strategy for the institution, what are the standards, particularly for the doctoral degrees, to make sure we have high standards, and what's the, uh, the support for these researchers beyond their discipline. They are given opportunities for personal development, for skills, transferable skills beyond the narrow confines of their discipline, you know, so that they uh, think about their career, about their communication, about how you might get go about getting finance and funding. So we make sure that all students have at least two supervisors, sometimes some sort of thesis committee, and they have access to and think about their, the skills that they have to do their project, but for a future career that they might pursue, whether that's in academia or not in academia, because the vast majority of our research students do not stay in academia. It's about, about developing creative, critical, autonomous intellectual risk takers. So they're creative, you know, originality is at the heart of the thesis critical, they've got to be rigorous and critical in what they do, critical in a good sense. Autonomous, they need to be independent researchers by the end, or at least able to progress a research agenda themselves. And this idea of taking intellectual risks, which helps drive innovation in the economy. So we, our strap line, you may, uh, thing is, London's global university and it's that deliberately if you look at the major strategies of the institution we certainly like to think of ourselves as a global university drawing students and staff from all around the world sending them out all around the world to go and uh, um, um, drive innovation somewhere or another so it's you know really at the heart timeliness so we get people through in a timely fashion. In the big research intensive universities, we have a very vigorous research culture. So there's a lot of research going on. So it means that you're part of biggish teams. That happens in other countries, but I think that's very strong in the UK and certainly in the big research universities. Um, transferable skills development is deeply embedded in our systems now. And we have what's called a good quality assurance regime. It means that the government sets a, has a set of expectations for doctorate awarding institutions, and we have to say how we meet those. So it doesn't tell us you have to do it this way and this way and this way, which it does in many countries, including Italy. It says, these are what we expect from you. Tell us how you are doing it. So it allows us autonomy as independent institutions, although funded by the state, to develop a, a leading edge set of doctoral programs which have this ability to um, develop this independence, these creative, critical, autonomous intellectual risk takers, and to give them the skills that they're going to need for all sorts of, all, all sorts of careers.